Hi folks, it's John Cohn again. I've been checking back on the DIY project submission page. We have over a hundred great projects. I can't wait to tell you about them. Here are the new top five voted projects. Number five is the Alzheimer Diagnostic Biosensor by Jessalyn Jansen. Coming at number four was the Automatic Casso Tank by Manish Kumar Sharma. Project number three and two were actually done by the same person. The first one was called Smart Shoe, and the second was Wireless Power Bank by Vinu K. Jose. And our new number one project for this week is Smartphone Controlled Multi-Terrain Robot with Live Broadcasting and Gas Detection by Jishnu P. I really love exploring the science behind these ideas and one of the projects that really jumped out at me was the smart shoe and the wireless power bank by this guy Binu. And what he was doing is he was generating power from the movement of his feet, but one of the interesting elements is he was beaming the power out wirelessly. And I started wondering, you know, how efficiently can you do that? So I went to my friend Scott, who does wireless energy transmission, and he lent me this small setup. This is a small transmitter that uses a resonant circuit, oscillates at a million cycles per second, and transmits a small amount of energy. This is the receiver. All it is is an inductor and a capacitor, no batteries, but look what happens when I move it into the beam of the energy. This is actually creating enough power to charge something like a cell phone. As long as I don't put metal in there, it transmits all the power in the world. One great thing about the do-it-yourself movement is that you don't have to have any specific skills. You could be an artist, you could be a technician, you can be an engineer. Anybody has those ideas. The great thing about inventing is there's no wrong. You know, you just keep trying things until something works. Think about unexpected uses for everything you see. Pretty soon it'll become second nature to you. We're down to the wire. The contest closes at December 7th. But you still have time to go in and put in your own idea or vote for your favorite. I'm going to be checking in regularly to see what comes up, and so should you.